talking to back issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Bill. 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 Peter Ray Bill. We're doing it. Finally. Hooray. I had nothing else. I had no song. I had. No, I, I just I, wanted to say Bill. I don't know the Bill Nye. Oh, Bill Nye, song. the science guy. You just say Bill. 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 Yeah. <laughs> science rules. <laughs> Beta Ray Bill from Daniel Warren Johnson and Mike Spicer is such a dope ass book. It was nominated for an Eisner and snubbed, but so was Supergirl Woman Tomorrow. They were actually up for the same Eisner. So that was like, oh, oh, and neither of them won? Neither of them won. I don't care about being biased and I don't care about uh, trying to sell it or not. It's just freaking dope. And I don't care if anybody disagrees with me. Hmm. You know, now you were not on the couch for when we introduced Beta Ray Bill Correct. in the Ballad of Beta Ray Bill. Uh, it's an awesome book, which is written and drawn by Walt Simonson. It introduces who Bill is. Also, Sif, Lady Sif, who has been rebuffed by Thor, is like, I think I'm gonna fuck this horse guy. <laughs> And so the two of them go off. He has a very noble look to him. That's true. And spirit. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's the implication. That they fuck? Well, at least that they're, <laughs> that they're that there's something going on between the two. Uh, that they're cavorting around the galaxy. Well, and now we don't have to answer the question of whether Sif can stomach Bill's visage because Bill has the enchantment of Stormbreaker. Oh. So, yeah, they definitely fuck. Yeah, but he also yeah, but she still looks anyway. like an alien because Corbinites also look like aliens. Yeah, but they're like at least slightly humanoid. They're not, they're not as gross as trying to kiss a horse man. Right. Which is all teeth. Yes, they don't have a literal which you don't want to do. Beta Ray Bill from Daniel Warren Johnson and Mike Spice. This book comes out of fucking nowhere. Mm -hmm. It's just a book that you could tell D-Dubs is like, I just want to do Beta Ray Bill. I just want to do this. He infuses so much dopeness into this book. <laughs> now I should warn you that the first issue is also a tie-in to King in Black. So Null is attacking right. Earth, he's shooting symbiotes and crap. So we see kind of like a flashback to pre surters annihilation of the Corbinites planet and people. Mm -hmm. And I love- Is that a telescope? Through the telescope, they see just fire. Just, what do you see? <laughs> fire. Like, fire is coming for us. Oh, that's, that's probably bad. Yeah, and we see that like, the people of the government from this planet go to Bill's mother, and they're like, congratulations, your son's been selected. Give him to us. We're going to rip him apart and foot horrible biological and circuitry and mechanical enhancements into him and make him this repulsive beast that will protect your people. Mm. And she's like, cool. Yeah. Go to town. She's proud. Ah, uh, it's an honor yes. to be chosen to be mutilated. In the first volume of Donny Cates' run on Thor, Thor, who was defending Galactus, battled Bill and Thor destroyed Stormbreaker. So this right. comes after that. Yes. <laughs> Right. Bill, Both brothers, they are not. Damn right. Yeah. Now, in exchange for robbing Bill of the enchantment and his hammer, and also betraying their kinship, Thor makes Bill essentially his war chief. Like, he is war captain of Asgard, and he has run of every weapon in Asgard except for Mjolnir. But none of them are Stormbreaker. That's right. Well, none of them are magic and can make me not gross looking. Right. Like, who? I, I'm, I don't have a fetish for weapons. I just want to look like me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In Bill's quarters, which he lives essentially on Scuttlebutt, his mm. uh, Corbin created sentient ship. Right. And uh, Bill also. D-Dubs loves to infuse just fun, random crap in here. Bill is watching a movie while he is musing about the loss of Stormbreaker. And we see that like, there, he has this wall of weapons mm -hmm. and then a, a, a hollowed out area of where Stormbreaker used to be and like all the scuffs of every time he chose it. Mm. But you could see what movie he's watching. Oh my God, it's hooked. So thematically, I guess Bill feels like Rufio. Yeah, displaced. Oh, yeah. Like, I should have been the pan. Yeah. Right, I took over. I took over, and then you just showed up and took everything from me. That's what this is. That's really funny. At the end of the book, it's going to be like, <laughs> is he gonna... I always wanted a father like you, Thor. No. <laughs> is he going to be stabbed by friggin' Captain Hook? No. Okay. None of that happens. It's just, just. I think D-Dubs is just a big fan of Hook, which, all right, man. Yeah, that's OK. Yeah, Sif goes to Bill, and she's just like, hey, like the beast has arrived. Your people need you. 
And he's like, has Thor shown up yet? And she's like, no. He's nah. Like, we don't fucking need him. And so he puts on his helmet. And he which says, is... bangerang. <laughs> <laughs> he never says bangerang. <laughs> and I think that's kind of a disservice of the book. He disembarks, Scuttlebutt, he goes before his people, stands in front of the world tree, and he just says, soldiers of Asgard! And all the soldiers are like, hoorah! And yeah, he he's their war chief. He's their war chief, and he's just like, the King in Black's beast is upon us, but we are strong, and we're gonna plant our feet, and kablam! <laughs> the beast just punches through the wall and decimates this like confederacy of soldiers, and the beast arrives as this puny horse-faced kneel before the might of Foom. Thin Fang Foom has been possessed by a symbiote from the King in Black. Oh my god. And has been loosed on Asgard. Well, that's bad. Which is freaking awesome. <laughs> Hell yes. First of all, Thin Fang Foom. Dope. Now, excuse to fight him because he's being possessed by a symbiote. Right. Also, a dragon fighting Asgard. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Totally works. And Thin Fang Foom isn't technically a dragon, so I don't think he violates your policy of no dragons on the couch anymore. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. I mean, I mean, he is a dragon. He is, he is basically a dragon, though. Yeah. I'm so this is a tie-in. Yes. This okay. first issue is a tie-in. <laughs> right. Which I think was also uh, the thinking of Marvel, where they're like, okay, so we don't have any belief in a Beta Ray Bill series. So we need to make the first issue a tie-in to King and Black, so people mm -hmm. think that it's valuable. And then they'll be so hooked by Daniel Warren Johnson and Mike Spicer's work right. that they will continue. Which, of course, most of us did because we knew He's awesome and can deliver. Right, you didn't need to do that. Maybe they were I just like, so. we need to plant this somewhere in the timeline. People have to know when this happens. That's also true, but it also can happen anytime, anywhere. It doesn't matter. It's like well, the Nexus. They've also got uh, Galactus's, Galactus's like, and, helmet there, so, so that also plants it in the this timeline. This is true. Yeah, and like Thor's outfit and yeah. how he and Bill's relationship are strained. So we, we know when it is. Bill battles Fin Fang Foom calls down Scuttlebutt. Scuttlebutt uses its onboard ship cannons to fire on Foom. It's yeah, a full yeah. barrage. And it's yeah. pretty the fun. It's a, yeah, it's just a really cool fight. And it just, it, it goes, it goes awry. Like, Foom punches Scuttlebutt the ship. <laughs> just sends oh. it away. And it crashes into the walls of Asgard. Jeez. Much like it crashed into Earth the first time. Yep. Uh, Foom goes to consume Sif and oh. Bill grabs Foom's tail and does like a freaking body slam. Now, <laughs> you will see a few patented wrestling moves in this book. More than a few suplexes will take place in this. <laughs> that's not a body slam, nice. that's a bam bam yeah. move yeah, from yeah, that's the a, <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He just doesn't do it more than once. Yeah, so, <laughs> but Bill saves Sif from being consumed by Foom, but then, he himself is is laid out by Foom, mm. uh, who proceeds to say, I love horse meat. And then Foom mm. is struck by lightning, and oh, Thor, Thor arrives. Save Bill's ass. Yeah, and because Mjolnir can defend against symbiotes, like the lightning sends oh. the symbiote off of Foom. So now Foom is docile, and the symbiote's been, been dissipated. And everyone's just like, Thor's returned, hooray! You saved us. For Let Bill's me hear from you people. <laughs> Thor, Thor, <laughs> Thor, Thor, Thor! Like they were all like, Rufio, Rufio! <laughs> uh, so everyone just, drinks are on me! They all go in into like the tavern and they all just get completely shit-faced and, and, and they're banging each other and they're having a great time. <laughs> Thor is just loving it. Like I guess he, this is what took so goddamn long for him to go back to Earth and save everybody. Mm, is he was busy with he this. He was busy with this. These yeah. ladies on, his, on either arm drinking mead. Yeah. And Bill is just stewing in it. God, these are you, my ladies. These I are, had him. Yeah, I had him. I had him right where I wanted him. You broke my, you broke my hammer. If also I had Stormbreaker, right. I could have called down the lightning and I could have killed, or yeah. at least stopped Foom. Yeah. Then so, everyone would be shouting my name. Yeah, yeah you just I could had turn it. back into myself. Yeah, you just had a secret weapon. That's right. all. Well, yeah, but I'm also a pretty dude. I'm a dope ass warrior. These people worship me sometimes. You made me war chief for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. So Bill's doing it, and then Pip the Troll shows up, and he's like, no. "Hey, damn it." And he goes, sorry, I just want to tell you you're a badass. You're so awesome. And Bill's like, listen, man, I'm real tired. And I don't need to talk to Pip the Troll today. I'm going. <laughs> this is not a Pip the Troll book. No, but I have to go. And so Pip's like, all right, see you, man. Oh. So Bill walks away. And as he's leaving, uh, he bumps into Sif, who has two goblets. And she's like, were well, you leaving so soon? <laughs> and he's like, oh, earlier she was like, 
you know, you owe me a, you still owe me a drink. Mm. So now she's brought the drinks and she's like, now you owe me two. She whispers in his horse ear. <laughs> she's like, you owe me two drinks now. And I'm the sorry, two, how many is that? <laughs> so the two of them leave. Like they're gonna, they're gonna get it on. And indeed oh. they do, they go into one of these chambers. Yeah. And they're just undressing and she's tearing his clothes off. And she gets on the bed and she just like, she pulls her leg up and she's like, so how does this work? And he's like, uh, what do you, what do you mean? And she's like, well, how do you like transform back into your, uh, oh into your no. core form? And he goes, oh, uh, I, I don't. And he's just like, oh no, Thor broke Stormbreaker. There's, this is it. And she's like, oh. It's okay, I have this bag. I'm just gonna <laughs> pop this no, on your head. She's just like, she nah. goes. She goes, Bill, I'm sorry. And before she could finish the word sorry, he goes, please, Sif, you don't need to apologize. I'm not blind. Oh. And then he leaves. And she's just like, yeah, but also like, <laughs> I mean, you know. Uh, like, I kind of feel bad, but also like, he I, is real gross looking I'm not though. chasing after him. Yeah. So this book is about this, Bill, needs to get laid, <laughs> and that's the book. So wow. we cut to Bill back when the Corbinites are going to change him. And it's just really sad. It's just this horrible like laboratory in this hospital room. And he just asks if it'll hurt, and they're like, oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh, oh it'll yeah. hurt so much. <laughs> but we are gonna give you a sentient AI that's gonna be in a cool spaceship, and they're gonna be with you forever. Cool, um, I'm gonna be unconscious for this operation. No, I mean, right? you will be, yes. The procedure will render you unconscious. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, we, we put you under, but it's just so intense, you'll just wake up. Yeah, I constantly. Mean, there's I mean, nothing like, I can do. It'll be like a constant yo-yo of like, you will wake up and then you will scream yourself into unconsciousness. <laughs> but Scuttlebutt is also there and they're like, I'm Scuttlebutt, I'm the technology that's been here, like I'm gonna be with you forever. Like, don't worry, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be with you. Sweet, it's like the ghost in Destiny. Yeah. <laughs> just this little thing, I'm like, like, hi, hey, I'm here. I'm your friend. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, I'm really scared what will happen to me. And Scuttlebutt's like, I don't know, but I will be with you the entire time. Mm. And you're like, aw. And that's this, it, illustrating the relationship between Bill and Scuttlebutt. Like, Scuttlebutt isn't just a cool spaceship. So. Although Scuttlebutt is a cool spaceship. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> Bill calls to Scuttlebutt and he's like, prep the engines, we're leaving. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing for me here. Right. Thor comes out and he's like, Bill, where, where, where are you going? Uh, you, you, you just, this party's just getting started, that's man. That's right, and Bill's like, how dare you ask me where I'm going, you piece of shit? I was supposed to beat Foam, you took, every time I do anything, you cast a reflect, you, you cast your reflection over me. Yeah, mm. your, your shadow, I'm engulfed in your shadow. Yes, and he goes, and, and Thor goes, I have no control over who I am. Thor's got a Thor, man. Yeah, <laughs> and Bill's like, you broke my hammer, you took everything that was special for me. Like, you stole, my surrogate father, your, sur your, your actual, you stole Odin's enchantment from me. Like you took the one thing that was unique and special in the universe that belonged to me away from me. Yeah, well, I told you to stand down. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Thor's like, I'm in charge, man. Like the crows listen to me now. Like I, 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 got, I, got, I got heavy responsibilities. Yeah, I don't know what you want me to do. I don't know. It's yeah. It's over. So now I've got to go. With it. I'm, I'm going out and I'm going to be my, I'm going to find myself and I will become myself again. And he leaves. Because Odin is no longer here, but he is alive at this point in continuity. He won't be for long, but like he is still <laughs> okay. alive right now. Okay. And so uh, the issue ends with trading of barbs between Pan and Rufio. Bangarang Rufio! That's how the book ends. <laughs> and Bill just looking That's at his awesome. reflection in the fucking, in, in the glass of his, of his bridge. So Bill's off. Uh, so Bill decides to like blow off some steam, and the way that Bill likes to do that is by playing ping pong. Uh, I really like Bill when he's not thawing out. This is his outfit. It's just jeans and a graphic tee <laughs> and a baseball cap. Uh, amazing. But he's talking to Scuttlebutt about looking for Odin. Like, we're just gonna have to hunt down Odin, we're gonna find him, and we're gonna make him make me another hammer. <laughs> That's the plan. Yeah, and then the crows the first listen to mm, Thor. No. Couldn't Thor just make him a new hammer? Yeah, but Bill needs help from Thor. Like, he needs a fucking hole in the head. <laughs> like, no thanks. I've got this. I'm going on a goddamn adventure. Yeah. So 
Scuttlebutt's talking about the logistics and, the, and all that. But then Scuttlebutt notices that there's an intruder alert. And he's like, oh, shit. So uh, we see a double page splash that is a cross cut to show you the <laughs> oh inside God, of Scuttlebutt and what's going awesome. on. See, that's awesome. It's uh, an incredible cross section of Scuttlebutt. Yeah. Oh, they have an arcade. Oh, yeah. They better. Uh, also, they have Daniel Warren Johnson drawing the book. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's an Easter egg. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. I love all the fucking ammunition belts oh. for the guns. Oh, yeah. Scuttlebutt has guns. <laughs> so uh, eventually, Bill finds Scourge in <laughs> his kitchen. Scourge! Now, Scourge is fun, and also Walt Simonson creation. It's just this whole book is an homage slash tribute to the Walt Simonson Bill era. Okay. In the comic, he defends Asgard. He loves guns. It's one of those characters who's like, you know, I came from Asgard, I know about bladed weapons and all this crap, but like, guns though. They're guns freaking are the shit. dope. <laughs> and there's a, there's a beautiful image that I believe is by Simonson that showcases the demise of Scourge, where uh, Scourge is just, just an unending hordes, he runs out of bullets, and there's just this awesome moment of him using an AK-47 like a baseball bat <laughs> as he is consumed. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, it, it's a thing that they could have easily put into Ragnarok that they just fucking don't, and it's a crime. Anyway, Scourge is here, and he's like, Bill, my old friend, and Bill's like, you're dead. And he's like, yes, I was in Valhalla, and it's boring as shit there. So anyway, I was peeping on Valhalla's you. Valhalla's boring? Yeah. What? All you do is sit and drink. I, he, There's no guns. That's Scourge's <laughs> complaint. He's like, there's all kinds of weapons and stuff, but they don't have guns in Valhalla, which also suggests that if Frank Castle ever goes to Valhalla, uh, he's gonna be pretty bored too, but Frank Castle won't be going to Valhalla. Valhalla is for warriors, Frank Castle's an asshole. He goes to hell. <laughs> Scourge is like, so anyway, I got bored and saw a spy on, on you and I saw Sif's rejection and it broke my heart. Oh. And Bill's like, you saw that? <laughs> you were like in the bedchamber scene? Oh, I watch all the time. Yes, and he's like, uh, no. Like everybody in Valhalla was thing. watching we're that, man. Watching... That was on like fucking HBO there. Exactly. Cinemax of Valhalla <laughs> is the bedchambers in Asgard. But he's like, dude. Oh, so brutal, man. Yes, <laughs> he's like, he goes, I witnessed your rejection and it broke my heart and my soul. I demanded that the Valkyries return me to this mortal coil to say, to help you. I will be your wingman. Oh my God. Uh, what, what do the humans call it? Yes, I shall be your wingman, Bill. We will bro out and I'm going to get you laid. <laughs> Let's do this. And Bill's like, Scourge. Oh, Scourge. I'm kind of on like a journey of self-discovery <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm like really wallowing in my own self-misery. I really don't need, and Scourge's like, nonsense, Bill. I came back to life to help you, man. Yes. We are doing away. this. Yeah. Yes. Bill's like, dude, I, <laughs> I, I really don't need a warrior right now. And Scourge is like, well, I, this warrior knows where Odin is. See, I'm already being useful. Let's go. So they go to this crazy dive space bar oh, or yeah. space saloon. Scourge just living it up because he knows he's dead. So he's he's here on borrowed time. He doesn't give a fuck. So he kicks the door. He's like, barkeep, a, a round of drinks for me and my friends, which is to say my horse friend. <laughs> and uh, so they're sitting there and he's like, this is the place. And Bill's is like, I don't see Odin anywhere. He's like, nonsense, just, just, just sit here and we'll drink. Uh, Bill turns to a woman at the bar and says, excuse me, have you seen? She's like, ah! And he's like, fair. That's what I thought. Oh, fair enough. Sorry. And her boyfriend's like, hey, what are you doing with your horse face scaring my girlfriend? How do you dare you look at her with a face like that? That's what he does. And he's screaming at Bill's face, and then he just gets bitch slapped <laughs> by Scourge. He says, how dare you speak to my wingman like that? He is a glorious man, and if he looks like a horse, that's one of the most noble creatures. <laughs> God damn. Nice. And then we get a barroom brawl nice. that is just it's just fucking amazing. <laughs> just these two <laughs> clueless douchebags beating the ever-loving shit out of people. It's just nice. a fun fight. See, Bill, you needed this. Yeah, like yeah. you need to get some aggression out. <laughs> uh, so uh, Bill's about to get his throat slit by a uh, you know a ne'er do well in the bar when he is re uh, rescued by Pip the Troll. No. No, no, no. The, okay, so Pip the Troll is a second appearance. Pip the Troll is a main character in this book. Like Pip is Pip is part of the. I Pip, just like Pip the Troll more than I dislike dragons showing up. In that's comics. fair. <laughs> Pip is that's now because Pip normally sucks. Yes, Pip, this looks like a punk rock. This Pip. is punk rock Pip. Pip's been through some shit and now he's here. He's on Team Bill. 
He's like, we're gonna get you laid because I don't want to look like Pip the Troll. I am called the thing that people use to describe <laughs> the thing Ugly you don't creatures. want to be. Yeah. So my life sucks too, Bill. And I think that if I can get you redemption, if I can save you, maybe there's room to save someone like me. Not only that, I'm usually walking around in a loincloth. Yeah. It's a terrible look. Usually I'm hanging out with like Adam fucking Warlock and he that sucks. sucks. So no, I would much rather hang out with Beta Ray Bill. So do they next run into the fucking Scarecrow and Tin Man? <laughs> is like, what is that? The whole well, <laughs> Is there a Tin Man? <laughs> kind of. We'll get into it. Scourge is like body slamming someone through a table. He goes, Pip, my old friend, you've joined us, huzzah! <laughs> and then Odin cries enough. Oh. And he comes out. He was out. there? Yeah, he was there. Oh. No, he is, he is hiding from his retirement of being the, the ruler of Asgard. Right. And so he hangs out in this bar and he makes beer. That's oh. what he does. He just makes beer in the basement He's a for brewer. this bar. He's a brewer now. And, That's uh, awesome. So you see this like dope fucking Odin. Yeah. He comes up with just a huge keg. He's like, what are you doing to my bar? Right. <laughs> so the, 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 the four of them go to a private place to talk and uh, Odin knows what Bill's here for. And he's like, I know what you want. It's so sad. I love the art in this book is mwah. Mm. But there's a sequence here that's, D-Dubs knows how to draw like suplexes and DDTs <laughs> up the wazoo. Uh, giant fucking spaceships that shoot space cannons that destroy demons that are eight stories tall. But they're all talking, having beers. And uh, Odin's talking about how bored he is in retirement. And Bill says, I think I may have a task for you that will cure you of your boredom. And Odin says, and what might that be, Bill? Mm. With this like really sorrowful eye. Yeah, like he like, knows. I can't give you what you want. Yeah. But Bill's like, I need a new hammer. And Odin's like, <sighs> like, you have every hammer. Like you have all of the, what? He goes, no, but I need the one that will turn me, that will let me bang Sif. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this is you. Right. Yeah. And you need to accept it. Yeah, yeah. yeah kind of. Like that's the, that's the moral of the story. Right. But Bill is only on chapter two. <laughs> and he's like, no, come on, man. And, uh, and Odin's just like, I can't. Like that magic is no longer within me. Like I'm not that powerful anymore. I'm retired. And also it's made by dwarves and they're not gonna do it either. <laughs> and so Bill's just like. Not even with all this beer could I convince these dwarves to do it. Yeah, well and Bill's just like, is there no other way? And Odin's like, <laughs> okay, so. Is there no other way? Is there no other way? And Odin goes, look, dude, like you're a great warrior and you're like noble and beautiful and cool. And he's like, spare me the fucking platitudes. <laughs> I just watched Hook, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, who wins at the end, man? I, I, I never asked you fuckers for anything, you know? Like, I didn't ask to be like this adopted son of Asgard. I didn't ask to be like a warrior of your people. Like, I didn't ask to become a, a goddamn Thor. Like, all I ever did was help you guys out. And now I'm asking you for one fucking thing and you can't help me. And Odin's like, okay. There is, there may be one thing you can use that has enough magic to give you what you want, but it's, a, it's, it's pretty goddamn dark. And he's like, wherever I have to go, I don't care. And he's like, you have to go to Muspelheim. Mm. Yeah. Oh, damn. The realm of Surtur, the being yeah. who destroyed his entire people. And he's like, deep in that realm is an, is an item that is so darkly enchanted that it may have the magic that is within it to give you your Corviknight form. Oh, man, it doesn't... It doesn't seem like it was that hard when you made that enchantment for Thor to turn him well, into fucking Well, I, I did Blake. make that enchantment already. Like, I made the enchantment a long time ago, and then I just I just copy-pasted it onto your hammer. <laughs> right. Do you have your hammer? Can I copy-paste it? Yeah, oh, well, it's in shards? Just, yeah. No, the, well, Thor is still wielding. Yeah, you're, yeah. yeah, I don't even know where yeah, Stormbreaker where is. It was just, it was, no, it was like, it just was just, just, It was yeah. a nihilator. Just powder. There's just. actually a cover to this series where it's Bill trying to like glue Stormbreaker <laughs> back together. Of course. Like, it doesn't it, but, work that way, man. And he doesn't in this well, book. Well, you need a two-part epoxy it's first. It's metaphorical. <laughs> but the, the, the element that Bill needs is the Twilight Blade. Oh. The sword that Surtur made out of the stars that made up the galaxy from which he came. Oh. Apparently. Sweet. Is it because there's a part of Corbin in there? Sure. <laughs> it's just, it's made of fucked up crazy magic from a demon of Muspelheim, the demon of Muspelheim. And uh, Surtur's been through some shit and essentially 
Surtur refuse seemingly Surtur refuses to wield it. Like it's just sitting there. Mm. And Surtur's not actually in charge of Muspelheim anymore. His daughter is, and even she can't wield the Twilight Blade. Is Surtur the one who's supposed to bring about Ragnarok? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And has before, yeah. right? We've had how many Ragnaroks now? At least three. <laughs> okay. So like, <laughs> is Surtur just, just being like, uh, I'm just going to get tired No, of he it. can't wield it. That's the, re that's the reveal later, but mm. like right now it's just Odin goes, he's not wielding it. Yeah, it's like, just I don't know there. why, but he's not. It's just sitting there, waiting. So maybe you could wield it. So Bill's like, cool, we've got a, we got a quest. Let's go. So, uh, Odin reveals that he built like a city of warriors that guard the entrance. Cause like you could go to Muspelheim usually th using the Bifrost, but they can't. So instead they use a pocket portal that Odin created where he could like banish demons of Muspelheim if he needed to without having to use the Bifrost and use up all that magic. So uh, in order to guard that hole he made in space, and interdimensions, uh, he built like a little city of warriors that guard it. That are actually, they're, they're robot warriors. Uh, so they're not like hungry or tired or anything. And uh, right. they'll guard it. Might say they, they're the perfect warriors. That's true. Yeah. And so uh, Odin warns them that Bill is coming and to let them pass. Oh, I thought it was gonna kind of be like Dante's Inferno where they have to like pass through ring and ring of like trial <laughs> nah, and fight. Nah, there's only like five issues. <laughs> <laughs> like I set them up and they I, they don't listen to me anymore. Right, so that, have to fight them. exactly. That'd be so cool. But like, and I bet if this was six to eight issues, that would, that would have happened. But not unlike it's Eisner nominated sister, Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, the publisher that made it didn't fucking believe in it. Supergirl got eight, Bill got five. Unheard of in both scenarios. And yeah. yet at least they exist. But another element that unites those two books is that they'll never get hardcover releases and they'll never get oversized editions, which you have to give to every Daniel Warren Johnson book. Because you can't look at this cool ass shit the way we all look at normal comic books. I need it to be bigger. <laughs> if Silver Surfer Black can be this goddamn big, Damn. so can this. So can Bill. So anyway, uh, Scuttlebutt. No, no, if his, ho his horse face is that big, He's you might vomit. He's just too gross. <laughs> I think Bill looks really cool and I don't know whatever his problem it's is. Because it's so small. No. Until that's Bigger, you're going to be like, oh, oh yeah, I'm getting nauseous. Yeah. <laughs> Bill is a great warrior. <laughs> he deserves your respect. So Bill and company are going to the portal that will lead to Muspelheim. Scuttlebutt is like. Odin is not part of this, is he? He does not come along. No, he's oh. retired. Yeah, he's retired. He's that would have been great. I agree. Because then, then you would have had the uh, Tin Man. Yeah, we're getting the Tin Man. Or the Lion, I guess. Yeah, he'd be the Timothy Lion. <laughs> the Cowardly Lion. Because Bill is Dorothy. <laughs> What? Bill is Dorothy. Is he? I get, yeah, yes. He's the, he's the main leader. character. He wants to go home? Well, it doesn't quite His work, own body yeah. is home, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I guess that's yeah. fair. No. I would say Scourge is uh, the Scarecrow. Scarecrow, yep. Yeah. Because he's just like, Let's I ain't got this. a brain, let's no fucking do brains. this. That's yeah. right, that's right. It's also the first one. Yep, that's true. I don't Pip know if troll. Pip is the Cowardly Lion. I think so. Well, sequentially, he's the Tin Man. Right. Sequentially, yes, but I feel like Odin is more the Tin Man because he's like lost a part of yeah, himself. Yeah, but he doesn't go with them. He doesn't so have his heart. He doesn't he's go with them. some other fucking thing. That's I don't, true. I don't even know what he is. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. But uh, so Scuttlebutt basically asks Bill, like, do you remember the last time we saw Surtur? You know, and he's like, how could I forget? And it's like when Surtur slaughtered his people and like destroyed the arcs, not all of them, but like some of the arcs right. with his demons. Uh, but he's just like, yeah, when I was built to protect our home and I failed to do it. It's kind of what's like, that wasn't your fault. Like, no, you, you succeeded, yeah, man. You saved them. Uh, but anyway, he's just but like- But not all of them. Right, yeah. and like they rejected me and it became a whole thing. <laughs> but he's just like, God damn, like I can never escape my own failures. Mm. So Bill and company make it to the entrance to the, to the portal, mm -hmm. which of course is like an old, you know, medieval city. It's cool. Protected it's by fucking dope. these cool, crazy ass as guardian robots. <laughs> okay, that's not what I was picturing. No! Holy shit. It's never what you're imagining when Holy you're gonna get shit. a Daniel Warren Johnson book. Okay. So they're like, hey, listen, like you can go, but you should you should know that nothing has ever escaped this portal. Like you may go in, but right. you may never come out. And it's our job to make sure you don't come out. And they're not gonna fight them on the way out though. <laughs> like, like if you come out, like good on you, but yeah. you're just not going to. Though. Right, but. I don't really even have to worry about like whether to identify you as friend or foe. Nope. You're just never coming back. Yeah. They, they don't like say it's a foregone conclusion, <laughs> but they're just like, it's, it's heed this warning. Yeah, it's just never happened before yeah. is all I'm saying. And also you should know that like souls are changed when they enter Muspelheim. Mm. Yeah, abandon all hope, ye who enter here. And he's just like, okay. 
And they're like, yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Fucking whatever. Yep. There's nothing you can say. No, you can't stop you can't me. Stop me, because I need to get laid. Uh, so Bill turns to Scourge and Pip, and he's like, "This is where you and I part company, yeah, gentlemen." Yeah, obviously you're not coming with me in here. That would be fucking stupid. Scourge's like, "How dare you reject your wingman at this stage? Like, there's so much that we could fuck up down there. Come on!" And Pip's like, "I'm with you to the end, man." This is when he talks about what trolls mean. He's like, "No, no. fuck that." Like, we're doing this. Yeah, I got nothing else going on. I'm Pip the Troll. Yeah, yeah, right? Like, it's imagine it's amazing that Dan thought to put me in the book. <laughs> so. And I appreciate the part. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, come on. <laughs> Let me in. Hey, listen, in the MCU now, Pip the Troll is played by Patton Oswalt. So that's what Pip sounds like. It's, it's Red, hell. cloudy skies. It's hell. It's I hell. like that Scuttlebutt goes with. Oh, yeah. yeah. Scuttlebutt's like, I'm with you to the end. I'm with you forever. Just like I said, when you were being made into what you are. Uh, so while when they, they got out, I thought they'd have to like leave Scuttlebutt and be like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. no, he just jumps in. This no, Scuttlebutt's rad. like, let's go. So they all get on board Scuttlebutt, they go through, and as they pass through, Scuttlebutt itself is starting to like shake. And oh. Bill's like, hey, Scuttlebutt, like what's going on? And it's like, I don't know. Like something is changing. And deep within the bowels of Scuttlebutt, like circuitry and wires and plates just start coming apart and forming into a sexy robot chick. What? what? Scuttlebutt has become a person? a person. Huh. That's the Tin Man. That is the Tin Man. Listen, Just cause. You entered Muscleheim, it's going shit, to change you. It's going to change real, you. Yeah, it's going to change you. Yeah. And there's Bill making the <laughs> So Scuttlebutt's a sentient thing that had a smaller thing inside of it appear when they went through. Do they all get little versions of they themselves do not get, that like climb out of their colon? Well, they're not all yeah. robots. They're not, all, know, they're not all spaceships. Uh, but that doesn't matter. They can be made of flesh this, and bone, much yeah. like Evil Dead yeah, or no. Army Darkness. This is what happens to spaceships that are alive, which is to say, it only happens the one time. <laughs> so Yeah, it's never happened before, so it could be anything. Exactly. Yeah. So Scuttlebutt is now part of the crew. She's just like, look at me, Bill. It's me, Scuttlebutt. I'm here. And he's like, what? I've always been here. Yeah. And, it's like, and you've been inside of me, Bill. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like, there it, this really upsets Bill. Uh, it's like, oh no, you're here and you're a person and stuff. Like, this is upsetting. I don't know what to do. Yeah. She's like, I know one thing we could do. <laughs> There's actually a line where she says, something in that portal has awakened me. Oh, awakened you, eh? Oh. <laughs> So uh, while that's happening, the residents of Muspelheim, which is like to say that. these crazy ass demons, yeah. are worshiping Surtur. They have like a big painting or a cave painting of <laughs> Surtur on the wall. And uh, they are just like, they're, they're worshiping him. And they're just like, uh, the things they, th their enchantment is fire forever. Just the fire right. will spread, fire forever. This is the fire that we are born from. This is the fire that we worship. Just in the sky, there's, on fire. there's a treasure for our great blaze in the sky. Let's go get it, fire forever. And so they fly up into the sky to attack Scuttlebutt. Like, hey, that thing's not on fire. It needs to be on fire. Hey! Make it on fire. Uh, we have rules down here. Everything fire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fire everything. Well, dude, like one of them has a fucking bazooka and it says, for the blaze, and fires bazookas for the blaze. at Scuttlebutt. Oh my shit. god, these guys sound like Mad Max, like, war boys. <laughs> yeah, then they are. And they, that's basically what they are. Sweet. Uh, so it's a big fucking battle. It's a big battle, you know. Explosions and shit Scourge's everywhere. like, how come we're not firing? And Scuttlebutt, the woman, is like, oh, external sensors are down. Like, we're going to have to manually fire these things. Nice. And so uh, we have to Star Wars A New Hope. Yeah. Uh, here <laughs> they come. The sequence gutter seat. Yeah. In which they do. Uh, oh, so, that's fucking awesome. You know, Pip and, and, and Scourge. And Scourge gets onto, like, the fucking, the, the top cannon and goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Proceeds to fucking just blow these things out of the sky. Uh, that's fucking awesome. Pip, there's too many of them! Uh, <laughs> Never say that. Never say that. <laughs> that's right. Uh, but there are too many of them, and oh. it like fucks up the engines, and so Scuttlebutt is starting to fall, and it's going to fall into a lake of fucking fire. It's going to fall into like lava itself. And so they're it's like, going to become like a regular ship. Well, they're like, well, it's it's a spaceship. It's not. No. It's now not, it's just a ship. It's just it's built. It's not built for like, like a, floating. For floating. So Scuttlebutt <laughs> grabs the ground and fuses herself into it and alters the form. She's like, if I can change form, then the ship can change form, and she makes it into a fucking. <laughs> Lava-proof battleship <laughs> that splashes into the lava. The the goblins retreat from their descent into the lava flow. Uh, Bill says, "The goblins are retreating." Scott, you did it. She goes, "I did do it, didn't I?" And then Scourge goes, "That's amazing! Everybody, Bill, Scuttlebutt, Pip, the troll—it's beer time!" So they go to the mess hall and they just drink beer. 
like <laughs> quietly together. Scuttlebutt explains that she has registered like a, ma a massive energy surge somewhere further down the line. And they all reason that it must be the Twilight Blade. So like we need to head towards that energy surge. And uh, Scuttlebutt explains to them that like she keeps like rearranging her hull to accommodate for the intense heat of the lava. Uh, and uh, so she's like, I'm gonna have to like go and recharge and stuff and blah, blah, blah. Like, are we still doing this? And Bill's like, whatever gets us to the sword fast enough. That's what we need to do. And he leaves and he goes to like the, the ping pong table. Now, Bill is usually alone on the ship. So the ping pong table is actually like built for one. Yeah. You know, like it separates in the middle and he holds it up against the wall. Yeah. And uh, so Scuttlebutt talks to Bill and she's, she goes to Bill while he's alone. This is weird for both of us. <laughs> and he's like, fair. She's like, I have something that we might be able to do to break the ice. And they play ping pong together. <laughs> so they, they put it down and then they can actually play together. Now. Right, that's cool. Yeah, and he's like, how are you good at this? She's like, I've, I've watched you play every time you've played this game. <gasps> also, I'm, I'm a robot. always here. Yeah, also I'm a robot. I'm good at everything. Yeah. But yeah. So You can't it, beat me, I know all your skill, all your moves. Yeah, it's, no, they just, they, they have a fun. And I'm clean, faster than you. <laughs> they, have a, they have a good clean game. <laughs> And, uh, and I never tire. Yeah, and they yeah. wrap up, and then he's just like, he observes that she's talking differently. Like, it's not the same as, like, the scuttlebutt of the past. Mm. Like, you are a woman. So, but I can't get past how ugly you look. <laughs> yeah, she's like, wow. <laughs> wow, so, coming from you? <laughs> you piece of shit. You're a fucking hideous horseman. You're a horseman, why would I ever fuck I could fuck Scourge. She goes, I wasn't present when you left Asgard. Do you want to talk about what happened? And Bill just says, I became aware of myself. My real self, I suppose. Because that's what she says to him when she transformed. Mm. She's like, I guess I became aware of myself, like my real self. And he's like, and I guess I did too. And that's why we're here. Mm. And she goes, but why does that sound like a bad thing? Like, it's a good thing for me, but you say it like it's a negative. Yeah, that's why you're going after the blade, to change yourself yeah. back. So then she takes him to a special room that he didn't know about on the ship that she built, which is essentially a records room. She has kept a visual record of their time together since they met of everything. Aww. And he's like, wow! She's like, yeah, every battle, every interaction, I have it all. It's all on like laser disc right here. <laughs> we can watch it. Oh, the fidelity of it all. <laughs> yeah. And so then she opens herself up. Like she splits down the center and a awesome mechanical axe comes out of her. And she said, I know you have lots of weapons, but I built this one especially for you. And I, I felt like you could do something special on your quest. So he takes it, he's like, oh, polycarbon nanite steel and mini power thrust action, latching alternative blade detachments. Thank you, Scud. <laughs> and she says, you know, we could still turn back. And then they get a, a sensor reading and there's like lava monsters that are splashing oh, out of the, yeah. and, uh, they're coming in fast, and Scourge is like, oh sweet! And he went to the weapons room and grabbed fucking these crazy goddamn dope ass <laughs> doom weapons. And then he hands Pip the big one, and he's like, here you go, big man, let's do this, come on. <laughs> so nice. then they're gonna have to dive. What? Oh my God. Like a submarine? <laughs> they're gonna turn into a submarine? Yeah. A lava submarine. That's right. So the, uh, the, the war boys are coming, they're just like, blaze, 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 yeah! <laughs> uh, fucking. Scourge is shooting at them. They, look, look. Yeah, it, they it's have, Mad Max. They have fucking <laughs> springs. Like, springs on their seats that launch them at the ship. And we see that like the ax that Scut made for Bill has like an engine on the back. So when he wields it, it like fires. Yeah. <laughs> so it's even faster. <laughs> and he just cleaves these goblins in twain. Yeah, nice. that's freaking cool. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, while the war boys are <laughs> goblins <laughs> are attacking them, the sea beasts are also boarding the ship. Mm. Uh, there's this huge fucking like, I don't know, you want to call it like a War of the Worlds like tripod tripod thing is coming on, and it's just making this horrible sound. And Bill just throws the axe at it, cleaves it in half. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is a uh, mist giant spider. That's fair. Yeah, uh, it moves Scourge to tears. How amazing! Bill is in action, and that axe. Uh, I mean, it's not as cool as these guns, but like, that's pretty sweet for it's you, Bill. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> so uh, they, they, they fuck up the, sh the, the, the creature, they all go below deck, and Scuttlebutt dives, and uh, f 
just just heads towards the energy reading because that we then need to it's dive underwater. To, it's underwater. Okay. Under okay. Well, lava. Under lava. <laughs> so it's not technically underwater. It's right. like it's through a little like area. So what's really cool is like, you know, the the ship is Scuttlebutt. Mm -hmm. But also Scuttlebutt is this woman on Walking the bridge. Around. And so she just like is collapsing and she's like, the whole integrity is 50%. Like you you assume if the ship dies, like, so so dies too, too does she. Yeah. Right. The hull integrity is at like 25%. So Bill tells Scourge to like hit the boosters. <laughs> and uh, Scourge hits this massive dope red button, which fires this crazy energy surge from the back of it and just pops through the portal that was under the lava. And they land in like this, this just dark realm full of like unthinkable beasts that are reminiscent of like the kind of sea creatures you'd expect like you know at the deepest levels of the ocean. Right, only darkness lives here. Right. Precisely. <laughs> but the meat inside those shells is going to be delicious. That's true. <laughs> so uh, then we see kind of like a dream sequence which is very reminiscent of the Upside Down when Eleven is using her powers but whatever. <laughs> yeah. I like all these things you're referencing so I'm all on board. Right. Uh, Bill is in his Corbinite form but wearing his cape, I guess to, pres like, to presume he's a hero. And he goes up to the bathroom sink to see himself, and when he looks at himself, he sees like a scar that morphs into him becoming Beta Ray Bill. Mm. And he's just like, no! And uh, then he is awoken because everyone has been kind of like taken over. The ship itself has been kind of invaded by these outside darkness creatures, Ugh. whose tendrils are invading the ship and invading them, mm. and they must have accessed, like, oh, it's great, like, they, 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 well, they accessed Bill's latent uh, trauma and his insecurities and, bo and brought them to the fore so that he would, like, have nightmares, uh, but don't worry, because Scuttlebutt, like, cuts those tendrils and frees Bill, and uh, they have to go look for everybody else. And I love okay. the sequence of, like, Bill popping the top of the ship to look outside, and then we show just how small that is and how big this octopus creature is that's taking them down. That's yeah, this nuts. leviathan. Yeah. For a second, I thought you were gonna say that they were like manifesting their like fears. Yes, into like actual. Like it was sphere, but right. no. Right, no, it's not quite that. sphere. <laughs> no, we're not there yet. Uh, but we do have that happen though, so. Uh, <laughs> Nice. I'm mean, getting shades of Event Horizon in here as well. Oh, Ship yeah. going into hell, right? basically. Yeah, but they don't like... Well, yeah, they don't go insane and like murder. We don't get a moment well, where Lawrence Fisherman goes, we're leaving. Nor do we get Scuttlebutt like, you know, without eyes being like, oh, we're all fine now. Right. Yeah. Oh. So Scott explains to Bill how like this thing is like an infection that's taking over the ship and we need to go like deal with this. And well, we gotta deal with this squid thing we now. We gotta deal with the squid thing. And, well, yeah, uh, he's got to save Scuttlebutt. Yeah. Well, and Bill hears uh, something that he thinks is Scourge. And when he goes, he is watching the first battle between himself and Thor from the Battle of Vader Ray Bill. Oh. But, like, look at this suplex he puts on fucking Thor. <laughs> it's not in that book. Nope. Nope. But it's great. Happened in between the panels. Yeah. But uh, Bill views the first time that he encountered Thor. And oh no! It access to laser discs. Yeah, it is. It's in the record. It's in the records room, and it's trying to like upset Bill to keep him from like purging the sickness. Yeah. Mm. So uh, they go. They're they're heading towards the um, the records room because like all of the all of the tendrils that kind of converge in there. They're just accessing all of them, mm. and because it's getting close, they show him his transformation surgery. Woof. And it is horrible. It is horrible. And Bill's just like, this is the last thing I needed to see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they leave that room and enter a new room, which is Bill seeing himself after the surgery for the first time. Weeping. Yep. My God. <sighs> then we go to another room, which is another memory, which is after all of that when he goes to see his mother again. Mm. And his mother is just like, I will love you no matter what. Like. I don't care what you look like. You were a warrior that was chosen to protect our people. There's nothing more noble than what you are. And then she looks up in the sky and says, what's that? And he says, that's the last time we ever spoke. Because that's, you know, Surtur coming. Right. And then we get this double page splash of Surtur destroying their fucking planet. And it's like, god damn, why isn't this bigger? Yeah. 
So then the two of them kill this like brain sucking thing that's in the records room that's like infecting the ship. Uh, he cuts it in half with Scuttlebutt's axe and takes his aggression out on it. Hmm. Uh, sensors are online, they're freed, and uh, they, they, they break free of the Leviathan and they crash land uh, before the Twilight Blade. So now they're here. They're in like the farthest reaches of Muspelheim where Surtur presumably keeps the Twilight Blade. And is. And it is, yeah. So Bill just walks towards it. Uh, She's like, well, well, I guess I'll just go grab it. I'm sure it'll be as easy it's as right that. There. Yeah, it can't be like pulling a sword from a stone or anything. No. Or, or a trap or. Yeah, but uh, Scuttlebutt joins him and she, sa she apologizes because she's like, I didn't know myself like I do now. I wasn't able to give you like the companionship and the empathy that you required. I just acted like a stupid computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but it turns out I'm like a person. Exactly. <laughs> but she says like, your mother was right. Like I can see inside of you and you are radiant. And she touches his cheek and he says, I wish I could believe that. Aww. And so he walks towards the Twilight Blade and Surtur appears and says, did you think you could just take it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I've been waiting for a powerful opponent to prove their worth, prove my worth for this hallowed blade. And I guess you'll have to do horse man. Huh. Horseman! Oh, that's why he look can't at you. wield it. Yeah. Your teeth are jacked up. Right. No, you're, yeah, but I'm supposed to look like this. <laughs> so. I embrace who I am. <laughs> I'm Surtur. Yeah, but now Bill is facing Surtur, the destroyer of his home world, the killer of his people, and, and you're in my way of me getting laid, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Bill goes to fight him, and Surtur is 10 stories tall, just punches Bill across the fucking place. Bill shatters a building with his body, Oof. and, uh, Bill calls him a coward. Surtur says, how dare you, I'm a god. And he goes, oh, you wanna fight? Why don't we fight? Let's fight, like we should. This isn't fair. Like you'll <laughs> never prove worth if you just squish me. Right, and you he gotta goes, make yourself my size. He goes, very well, Corbinite. He shrinks down, and then they have a knockdown, drag out, like bare knuckle wrestling <laughs> match fight. <laughs> While that's happening, uh, Scourge and Pip and Scuttlebutt are conferencing about what to do. Scour Scourge is obviously like, I gotta go help my wingman. I gotta go kill uh, Surtur, I guess. Yeah, and Scott's shoot like, him in the head. Scott's like, I need you. Like, I have an idea about how to help Bill, but it's gonna require you. Like, it's gonna, it only works with you. Mm. You must be his wingman in a new way. Yes. <laughs> so they fight, and they're just like kicking the ever And Pip, I guess you can come along. Mm. You're useless. <laughs> Pip, Pip has his own role to play. They're just beating the shit out of each other, and it's just like this raw energy is just blasting off of them. And so Scott, who is, the energy is at 0% on the ship. Scut and Scourge like set up these like, these complicated <laughs> things that didn't exist before uh -huh. that can now siphon the energy from the fight uh. into actual energy that they can then convert into sh like ship energy so they can help Bill. Because they're not just gonna escape, they need to do something else, which is right. also equally dope. Scourge has to stay, he has to stay behind. So they're just like got the turbines going. He's like, give them hell, Bill. <laughs> that impact shock. Yeah, yeah. It's so great. But uh, Surtur's just kicking the shit out of him, call, like making fun of him. You know, he's like, you were out of your depth. Surtur's got Bill on the ropes and he's standing over him. Uh, he grabs Bill, he breaks his arm. Mm. And uh, then suddenly uh, Surtur is being shot by Pip the Troll. Pip the Troll has straight up the gun from aliens that <laughs> Hicks teaches Ripley how to use. But you know what? I like aliens too. What was it, the M40 or the M41 pulse rifle? Yeah, it's the pulse rifle. Yep. So he's just firing into him and he's like, get away from him, you beast! Oh my Are you God. You kidding me? Fuck <laughs> yes! Surtur turns around and just plows his hand through Pip the Troll. Oh shit. He's, he's, he's dogged Bill, he's like, you feel those burns, Corbinite? Every single member of your race felt my burns and you're gonna feel them too. And then he turns to freaking Pip the Troll and he just goes, and the end is here for you as well. Also, I'll kill you. Yeah, and he's just like holding them there, but Pip's like stuck, he's like impaled on Surtur's hand. He goes, maybe, but at least we won't die alone. And he proceeds to reveal that he is loaded with like C4. Oh my God. Oh my God. One of the things we should understand about Pip the Troll is, Pip can teleport. Right. <laughs> so Pip hits the fucking button to trigger the, the explosives, teleports off of Surtur's arm, and boom, Surtur's arm explodes. Nice. 
Oh, he okay, so they're arm. both down an arm. Yeah. So you know it's super serious. That's true. That's true. Yeah. See, he was just evening out the fight. It's yeah. Exactly, exactly. Now it's fair. Yeah, he now still has a earned... hole in his chest. How are they going to fix Pip the Troll? Yeah, they figure it out. <laughs> okay. So Bill hoists uh, Surtur up, and he he goes onto the ropes, oh. and then picks him up, <laughs> and just drives him down onto the spire of one of these, like, macabre churches oh, that are built Oh, oh shit. damn. So Surtur is impaled to this thing, and then cries enough, and he's like, I'm done with this. Fuck this, sword or no sword, I'm gonna kill you. And uh, so he's big again, and he's just like yeah, punching like, on Bill. I'm a god, you can't just impale me. Exactly. And I'm dead. It doesn't work that yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, Scourge is like, Scuttlebutt, what are you doing? Come on! She goes, I have just enough power. And she walks towards uh, Scourge, and he goes, What are you doing? And she goes, I told you, I needed your skills. And she walks towards him, and as she walks towards him, she comes apart and becomes the ship and transforms and becomes the trigger and handle of a gun. And Scuttlebutt the ship forms into the barrel of the gun. <laughs> oh my god. That's what? Cool. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> like, are you kidding me? And so he just says, This is great! So Scourge is moved to tears by this epic weapon. It goes, Thank you, Scuttlebutt. And Scuttlebutt, who is like actually still formed, like she's well part of it, she goes, Yeah. Don't thank me. Just shoot the fire demon. <laughs> So he fires and it blows a hole in the Shoot! side of Shoot! <laughs> blows a hole through the side of of of, uh, of Surtur. Yeah. Nice. I mean, he was impaled oh, on- Oh, he still got the hole from being the impaled hole. Yeah. Oh, so no, he it... takes damage and shit. He does, yeah. yeah. but He could just walk it off. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's not enough. So it knocks him down, and then Bill walks towards the Twilight Blade, pulls it free, and Surtur says, it appears the sword agrees with you, Corbinite. Huh. And Bill chops off Surtur's head. Damn. He says, that was for my home. And he transforms into himself and says, and this is for me. So then uh, Pip the Troll is on the ship and the ship is just That's fixing. it? <laughs> yeah, he chops off Surtur's yeah. head. That's chops done. His, chops his fucking head off. Yeah, he's fucking he killed Surtur and he Surtur's took the sword. Surtur's dead forever. No. <laughs> <laughs> he is a god, you dull creature. Uh, so yeah, he just takes the sword and it works. It does the thing. It's it not, like the thing. A, not like oh the, no, no, the magic's inside of you. You can't fucking be. Everyone thinks that a, like if they were through that shit, you, you, the the woman you should fuck is right here all along. Yeah. It's the robot. That's your ship too. I just lied to you and told you the sword would do that just so you could have this journey well, uh, and this adventure. Odin did say it might, <laughs> right? But it definitely did. Uh, no, uh, Scuttlebutt explains that hours of surgery will be needed, but they are crafting him a carbon lung oh, from for, the ship for Pip. Yeah, for Pip. So Pip is So they're going to cybernetically enhance Pip. Yeah. Yep. But he will look like a horse. <laughs> That's all I know how to do. <laughs> no, no. He'll look like a pony. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, he's, yeah, he's a horse. Yeah. <laughs> they used up all the energy. And oh. there's not going to be another awesome ballroom brawl between right. gods. So they're, they're stuck. And then the Valkyries come to collect Scourge because his mission is over. Right. So well, you're going back to... You're going back to Valhalla. Yeah. So hey, can we get a toe? You're so still they there. do. The Valkyries tow Scuttlebutt out of Muspelheim and oh, into nice. space. That's awesome. I thought he was gonna have to leave it behind. I no. Like, the yeah. cost is your ship. That's right. Yeah. No. No. They, okay. Yeah. Scuttlebutt, the robot can come out, but the ship had to stay. Yeah. Exactly. But no, no. they take okay. the whole thing. They no. didn't make it tragic and horrible. Yeah. So Bill, as his original form, as his Corbinite form, stands on the on the on the bridge of the ship or on the hull of the ship can you imagine if the ship did have to stay yeah and then scuttlebutt is like and now i'm not whole right and yeah now i'll never be i me. thought it was yeah. gonna like take all her life energy or whatever yeah, to too. fire the gun i was like no oh god yeah, me no. too no yeah. no, she's like, no, no we can no, have no, our keegan in it too fuck yeah. it <laughs> no it's just it, it's batteries are drained yeah we can yeah. recharge them it's, well, fine. it's like yeah. they she thought it was it like uh. that we were gonna be fucked but like, so the sacrifice is still noble. Right. Uh, so uh, Scourge leaves. He's like, goodbye, brother and wingman. I'm off to eternal paradise with the Valkyries. Which I hate. Yeah, it's fine. It's just boring. <laughs> so he, he But I'll be watching when least. you get it on again, buddy. <laughs> yeah, and you better seal that deal. <laughs> so he leaves. Don't let it be for nothing. Do me a favor. Make your old lady call you Scourge once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So uh, Bill is whole, seemingly. Right. He's himself. Mr. Scott Tumble. looks at him, clearly mm. with like yeah. sorrow. Oh. Uh, he keeps the Twilight Sword in like this crazy chamber. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Who knows? Maybe what do you do with that? Maybe. Well, he's gonna wield it and shit. He he used it to transform into himself. Maybe he has to every time oh, he has to use it, grab to, it to, to, turn back. to switch back. Oh. I don't really know, but uh, I do know that he's finishing Hook, and it's the <laughs> sequence when pockets like touching uh, Peter's face and making him mm. himself, and he yeah. says, "Oh, there you are, Peter." It's when Pocket sees the true right. self of Peter. Uh, Scuttlebutt sits down next to him and touches his hand. Uh, then Bill goes to see uh, Pip the Troll, and he's like, hello, my warrior friend. And Pip's like, hey, you're back to your old self again. I'm happy for you, Bill. You got everything you wanted. You're whole again. And Bill just walks away from him and looks through the glass and says, you're right, Pip. I couldn't be happier. And in the reflection is his horse form. It's like I went through this thing and I made these friends and I found this like person who like understands me, knows me, will never reject me. Has always been here. Has always been with me and you know. Wait, is it, what is it, 16 candles? Like is that what we're doing? Does he go bang Sif? What happens? That's it. There's the no, end. There's we, no, there's no more know. Bill book. Damn it. Yeah, and it didn't sell enough to warrant more. So, oh. That's it. I was, I was really afraid at the end that he Pip was gonna be like, hey, <laughs> you, know, you did it, buddy. You're whole again. <laughs> I'll never be the same, but you're whole. And then right. he'd be like, oh, like here's the cost? sword. You got, oh! So you can get your real lungs back or whatever. Right. And I'll go back to being a horse man. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool, too. Yeah, I but would, like, but it'd be, no. it'd be, yeah, it'd be but, tragic. Yeah. Yeah, but Pip wouldn't be able to wield the Twilight Blade. Yeah, no, that's, no, that's true. true. That, that would just leave you with another fucking problem. <laughs> like, wait, so, so Pip the Troll is the goddamn Twilight Blade? I mean, uh, Pip the Troll was a member of the Infinity Watch. He wielded an Infinity Gem. So, Don't you know. Remind me. <laughs> but yeah, so that's Beta Ray Bill. It's in the comments. Buy this effing <laughs> book. Just like Wonder Woman Dead Earth, just mm. like Murder Falcon, Extremity. Fucking do a power bomb, which is the new book he's doing, <laughs> which is just about Japanese wrestling, and it's as dope looking as this, and it has a story, and it's pretty cool. But this is there is camaraderie, there is action, there is heartbreak, there's sex, there's violence, there's demons, there's weapons. It's awesome. There are such weapons. Yeah, <laughs> such weapons. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. It's 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 unmitigated awesome. And it is there for the taking, and you can get it probably half price. It's 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 a crime that you can get this book. This this book should not exist for how little Marvel believed in it. Uh -huh. And yet we have it. It's like we it's like we went into another dimension and took this book <laughs> out from it because it exists as well it shouldn't. And D Dubs used the five issues. He was like, no mini series is five issues. It's six or twelve, and he got Five, and he still made it work. And actually, another like art from adversity thing, like he managed to trim it down. No bullshit. Yeah. You know, no like, oh no. no yeah, no, it's not like they killed Scuttlebutt <laughs> and then we have to like believe or clap <laughs> their hands and bring her back to life. Although that would also go with the hook. With the hook theme. Thing. I know, yeah. I know. Yeah. If we send a message to Marvel that says we want this, hopefully it'll work. It's really rare that it happens. We sold a lot of copies of Supergirl Woman Tomorrow, or at least you guys did. I wasn't there, but we we as a collective yeah. sold that book. Club. I will say every time that like I see another Danny Warren Johnson book, I'm like, I don't like if I had like a publishing line and money to make books, I would hire him to do it all. Like Marvel has the rights to do Predator and Alien and Alien versus Predator, and why isn't Danny Warren Johnson drawing uh, an alien book. Like, why mm, isn't Andy Moore Johnson yeah, drawing the Predator book? Awesome. Like, are you shitting me? You know, it doesn't have to be like a 36 issue series. It could be like five issues right. and it'd be the dopest five issues ever. And it'd be apropos because Walt Simonson drew the dopest adaptation of an alien property in comic book form with Archie Goodwin to do the alien movie comic book adaptation. So it'd right, be like another homage to Walt Simonson. But in any case, yeah, but uh, like plus he, then you could see a sweet predator suplexing an alien. Oh my God, are you <laughs> kidding me? Pick up Beta Ray Bill, please. It's awesome. It, just do yourself a favor and read the damn book. It's so freaking cool to look it's at. It's so freaking cool. <laughs> so oh, we'll sweet. see you guys next time with another episode of Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Keep reading. Yay! Yeah, that was awesome. Right? That is great. Yeah, I wanted to do something really cool before we did anything related to like, I like that it was up for an Eisner.